Welcome back everyone. Schools are back in session, but things are obviously looking a little bit different this year. So today we have our tech specialist, Sarah Evans, who has more on home hacks and tech recommendations for distance learning. Hi, Sarah, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me from was, my home. From your home, I know. Uh, are you doing the distance learning with your children? We sure are. Um, one is in a fourth grade, the other is in a pre-K setting, so we have, um, we, we are learning on the go like everyone else. Well, bless you. I know it's not easy. Um, so what kind of home hacks do you have for us today? The first one, and this is one that's really helped me as a parent, is organizing all of the tabs that my son needs to use. Um, it seems like it would be very simple, but there are things like uh, Canvas for CCSD, their actual school websites, uh, Google Classroom and Khan Academy. And what we do is use Toby for tabs. It's actually a Chrome extension, but Chrome is the number one internet browser. And I created a way to save all of those tabs. So it's one click access both for him and for me every day. And you can see up there, I've got the splitter there. That's one of the things that I've been using because my kids have to wear headphones so that we're not all disrupting one another. But I want to pop in and see where they're at in their day, what the teachers are talking about. So I can actually plug in my own um, headphone to hear where they're at without interrupting what they're doing, which is awesome. We also have the headphone splitter and we, we love it. It's great for travel too, if you wanna watch the same movie or something like that. Um, so what else, what else can you help us with? What other hacks what, do you have? Well, one of the things that's been a little frustrating, you might hear my little one yelling in the other room because she's <laughs> it's watching. Okay. It's real life. <laughs> Exactly. Um, ergonomics. Okay, their their hands are getting tired. They're getting burnt out in their uh, chairs. So making sure they have a comfortable place to sit. One of the things was was we just grabbed an old shoebox and used it as a monitor stand, so we could elevate where he um, was looking, so he wasn't getting any neck cramps. Or you can always invest. You can see me. I <laughs> We can, you can invest in an M stand laptop stand, which is one of my favorite purchases. Um, it costs a little bit more, but you can also use a shoebox. Oh, a shoebox. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> and then what's this um, trifold display board? Okay, so this is one of my favorite things. You have multiple kids learning in one space, but you want to be there with them. So one of the easiest things you can do is go to Target, go to Walmart, and buy a tri-fold poster board. You can decorate it with inspirational, motivational messages for them, maybe their schedule for the day, and put them back to back, almost like they're in an awful pod setting. But it creates that separation where they also aren't getting distracted by other things going on in the house, because that is one of the things we found day one was really uh, likely to happen, especially with the younger kids getting distracted. So we set that up with their headphones, the headphone splitter, um, maybe a pillow or a blanket nearby, and the trifold board, and it really helps keep that separation. Reminds me of when you would put your folders up during test taking in school. Does anyone else remember that? <laughs> no cheating, exactly. All right, Sarah, thank you so much for coming on and sharing those products and those tips for us. I know it's not easy, so hang in there. You too, thanks. All right, bye-bye.